pay close attention and do your research because I believe we have reached the climax. This is Cardinal Adam Wimmer with the Ecumenical Order of Christ, and I'm your host today with Stronger Than Temptation. You know what to do. But I want to begin with speaking about this planetary alignment. This just occurred yesterday, July 19th, 2018, where all the planets moved to the right side of the sun. Looking back on history, six out of or five out of six times. This has been associated with the increased of volcanic activity. And as of yesterday, we have already experienced a 6.0 earthquake that hit Alaska and a 5.7 magnitude that struck Mexico. I'm not going to watch this video. You guys can do that. It's your job to be watchmen as well. But after viewing all of that, I came across this. This is Laura's Wells page. And it says right here that Justin of Mimetic pointed out to her that he was checking this on his app. And his app shows asteroids, which will be gathering together at the same time. A lot of them gathering between Earth and Mars. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the positioning of Nibiru, but Nibiru will make its closest proximity between Mars and Jupiter. So this very well may have something to do with that. But I'm doing more research on this. I will see what this video has to say and I will update you guys. But it appears that not much time is left. But this also correlates with the words of the returned Messiah, Lord Rael. I'm pretty sure proper repentance was not met. Along with what I just mentioned, we still have the blood moon coming up July 27th. 2018 and if you do not remember this warning slash update by the Imperial Region of the Lord Angelus Domini I'll read it for you it says Revelation chapter 6 verse 12 I watched as the lamb broke the sixth seal and there was a great earthquake the sun became as dark as black cloth and the moon became as red as blood now considering that we are in the Jubilee and the period ending the 70th Pentecost of Daniel's prophecy and seismic activity is off the charts. Could this be the blood moon we are waiting for? I think this very well can. And there's a lot of reasons why. And you need to join the International Congregation of Lord Rael immediately. Once you see this and you need to share this information. You guys haven't heard rock fissures spark urgent closure at the Grand Teton National Park, just 60 miles from Yellowstone Super Volcano. Now fissures are opening up. It's been highly active um, activity near Yellowstone, and this is usually associated with the eruption. In addition to what I already mentioned about the planetary alignment. A lot of people need to be evacuating now. There's not much time. No, just closing the park is not going to handle the situation. We have a bigger problem on our hands. And this is why. Yellowstone Volcano warning. Catastrophic eruption would destroy all life on Earth. Need I be any clearer? Get out of America now. And African countries pay for the price. For the current global trade war. Well, I don't think you expect to flourish in disobedience. 
one thing you could have done is invested in Godcoin. One thing, another thing you could have done, Africa, is pay proper respect to the king, His Majesty Lord Rayo. But you will continue to refuse him, and you will continue to live in sin, which in most cases leads to death. South Africa on America's naughty list. Okay. Trump's U.S. continues to snub South Africa and Africa. This article is talking about how Trump cares little about Africa. African leaders, he said, along with everyone else interested in U.S.-Africa relations, waited for months the Trump administration to explain its Africa policy, and they weren't allowed. Sure, if you're on the naughty list of United States, but you have a lot bigger problems. Much bigger problems. With the king. Africa, why would anyone really care about you? Got boys forced to rape their mother during Congo War. Genocide, cannibalism, rape, witchcraft, and more. Violent Islamic groups are gaining strength in Africa. More than 10,000 lives were lost last year. Pure genocide, over 6,000 Nigerian Christians slaughtered, mostly women and children. Now, would you think the Christ will find it amusing that his people are being killed? Murders of farmers in South Africa at 20-year low research shows. That's a horrible article. That you have to even mention that. that it's at an all-time low. And I don't even think it's at an all-time low because you guys stopped killing them. 15,000 white South African farmers seek refuge in Russia. So you need to get it together. Because there's not much reason that you should be kept around, let alone enter the new world of Lord Rayo. Africa needs another million PhDs. Scientists to develop homegrown solutions. It's been recurring refrain. Africa still lags woefully behind the rest of the world in generating new scientific knowledge as figures collated by the World Bank in 2014 show the continent home to around 16 percent of the world's population produce less than one percent of the world's research output these are painful admissions to make but these are several projects and initiatives that offer hope in the middle of all the bad news Produce less than 1% of the world's research output? Are you considering that you're not even really qualified to be left around? Like, you're displaying no use of you as a human race. Africa must unite and fight against drugs. African law enforcement agencies should work closer together to stop the heroin and other hard drugs passing through their territories, a senior UN official says. African governments seize just 1% of the 658 tons of opium, 91 tons of heroin, and 65 tons of morphine confiscated globally in 2016. 1%. Is that the best you can do? The household electrification rate in sub-Saharan Africa is the lowest in the world. 
You're behind in so many ways. You're poor. South Korea has much to teach Africa on how to pull itself out of poverty. You need to be taking notes. Malnutrition. And this one displays you're not really using your brain. Or your leaders are just so corrupt. Despite the fact we need to see improvement in both ends. You need better leadership. You need to use your brain. While Europe dominates the global chocolate market while Africa produces all the cocoa. Go here. It says chocolate is Europe's top processed cash crop export with 19.2 billion leading cigarettes and roasted coffee. Did you ever consider to use this to your benefit? Let's read this. A white paper by agribusiness data company Grow Intelligence delves into the numbers and history of chocolate trade, and it makes for sober reading from an African perspective. In many ways, Europe's grip on the sector is unsurprising. Given the European companies, innovation transformed the cocoa trade into the chocolate industry in the first place. But what is surprising is how little involvement Africa has had in over 200 years. It's been a major source of raw material for most of the second half of the 20th century. From 1961, when data has been available, to 2016, Africa's shares of total chocolate exports inched up by a miserly 0.9%. It is also the largest producer and exporter thanks to global market share of 70%. But while the continent dominates the finished chocolate goods market, Africa countries are collectively the beating heart of the success by producing and exporting over two thirds of global cocoa, chocolate raw materials. Court de alone accounts for a third of all cocoa produced in the world. So you have the sources, but you do not use them wisely. But what I just went over shows a little account that you are benefiting to humanity. The Lord is judging the nations. And you are not proving yourself well. You need to make yourself known that you deserve something. Because you got a lot bigger problems. The king is back. Do what you're supposed to do. You need help. Until next time, it's the Cardinal Adam Wimmo with the Ecumenical Order of Christ. My people, be well and repent while you can. Till next time.